زاری به تکه دو به آمریکا گذاشت ناشویل تنیسی کتما یا دونالد ترامپ یا من مرتن اسکتلونا یا سرچو سانی و چنان اسمیل کتو دمک سلام و سلف تکه دو نبرم برکت تا سوچ کتلا یو بوده آوچ یتلا یو امنت نانگ با ویزوم مت آن نبر یتلا یو یه مفکر روشم یتا یو نبره جگ بتام میاس گر من بزاتی الله چه سوچ که مگنی تا چون بله جگ میاس دن که آن میاس گر مودم و یه مرد آچو سوچ ان سهولو تگی توال با ریپابلیکان با دموکراتیک مکان کلیالوت یه کتامو میر و امدمو یه کتامو آن استرادر حالا فی جگ بتام میاس گر من هولیم کنن تا که زبو چوچ آلون میمیل سمت استانس آوارک تای توال اندگنا که از لایر موت کتلو یه تلاعیو مفکر روشن سناین بره یه هم من دنو یه مرد نه لذی های دلم سدت نیوچ کللو آمریکا یه متبال آت نورم اندیوم بات آمیاس کنامی گرم ودمو سدت نیوچ کللو ترامپ راسو میست آت نورم مکنی هاتو مسلم سدت نیانه چه اسپانیش و مهونو آماده نو یه میلو یه تلاعیو ما فکر کردی تا یونا برا؟ گازت اینجوش نبرو یه مدبوی تلاعیو یمنت آباتوش نبرو ملکتی استلالفو نبره جیگ بات آم و تات ناسی توش دمون نبرو یا و یه تلاعیو تون کس آوچن سلامی نگر مالت نو بات آم میگر مو یه تل یه تی تکات تلاوسات اند ما بردن آن گم اند میکات تل بازی اوی گم مثال یه تلاعیو یا آمریکا گازتوش هنن پروتست و هم دم هنن تئیت کاموسل فم یا کتاتلوی گنجالو یتلاعیو یه ارپورت هچو میه تزگوی گنجالو نه بناش بل کتامه یت که ایرو دمو جیگ بات آمی میگرم نه جیگ بات آمی دم مکان بره بات کالا اینگدی یتلاعیو سوچ یتلاعیو ملک توچن اسی استلال لفوت هم ملک تان الماله تنو And that's not going to change. America is stronger because of our diversity. America is stronger because of all of the people who are here right now. It doesn't matter how you got here. It doesn't matter when you got here. It matters that you are here and that you are a part of our great country. And the fact of the matter is that America has so many tools at our disposal 
We use the tools of war all the time. We need to use the tools of peace. The tools of peace that bring our refugees and immigrants to us and make them welcome and bring them home. America is stronger and better when we are together. America is stronger and better when we have each other's back. And we have each other's back in Nashville. I am so sad that I'm here with you today because of the reason. But I am so grateful that all of you are here today. Because if we don't stand up, if we don't make our voices heard, if we don't let those in power know how we feel and what we are prepared to do, then we all lose. I spent several hours this morning in church and I heard from many of the pulpits in our town about how we will continue to be a place that extends a hand extends everything for our refugees and immigrants. Now I try not to mix politics and religion, but I am a Christian and my Christian faith teaches me to welcome the stranger. And that is what Nashville will continue to do. Thank you so much. Mayor Barry, stay up here. We have some questions for you, so please, please. Mayor Barry, thank you so much for speaking. Are we committing to Nashville being a sanctuary city? Are we committing to Nashville being a sanctuary city? Woo! Nashville will continue to be a warm and welcoming place. And let me just tell you what's sanctuary. So what you need to do is you need to help me with the state legislature because the state legislature passed a law in 2009 that said that the no state of no city in Nashville, including Nashville, can be a sanctuary city. So I would ask you to help me help the state legislature understand the power that we need here in Nashville. And I will tell you that it's sanctuary city. You can use the language, but I will tell you it's about the action. The action is in the words and the words are the fact that in Nashville, we are not going to make our police immigration officers. They're not. No. No, they're not. They're not going to do it. That would be, the question is, deportation from the Nashville jail. And I will tell you that what I need you to do with that is to help me with the elected sheriff. That's his purview. He has the right with all of uh, the prisoners. That's his purview. But help me with him because I think he wants to do the right thing. And that's what we all need to do. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Mayor Megan Berry. Now we have Councilman at Large, Bob Mendez. Good afternoon, everybody. So I want to talk a little bit about what we're going to do about it. The Constitution, when it was written, it was debated. And one of the things that came up at the time is what to do when one of the branches of the government is out of line. James Madison used the phrase, every once in a while there'd be an extraordinary occasion where the executive would act deceitfully abusive of its power. And Madison was clear about what we need to do as a government about that. One, the first defense is the people. That's what we're doing out here today. The people. Next, 
It's the balance of the checks and balances of the judiciary and the legislature. The judges are doing their job. Yesterday we saw what the courts could do. Now the question is, what is the Senate going to do? What are our senators going to do about the wall and the Muslim ban? We need them to act, and we the people need to make sure that we tell them what we think about it. So we need to keep this up. Thank you for being here today. አሁን እየተናገሩ ያሉት የከተማው ጋቨርነር ወይ መሪዎች በየተራ ነው Thank you so much one more round of applause please I know that Mayor Berry's answer was not exactly what a lot of us want to hear I know that I still want a sanctuary city and I know a lot of you all do too to urge everyone that even if we do not call ourselves a sanctuary city that we must resist every part of what that means every part of what a city that was a sanctuary city would be we need to be and that includes calling ourselves a sanctuary city Woo! next up is speaker Jonathan Redding Thank you. I am here because I am a Christian. And something I have to tell my students on day 1 of Religion 101, I'm going to tell to Booker and Alexander right now. Jesus was not white. Jesus was an immigrant. Jesus was a man who as a child his parents had to hide him from the rulers who wanted to kill him. Yes. They fled for their lives into Egypt. And it is because that Egypt they were able to hide that Christianity exists. The night that President Trump was elected I had a dream. I studied the biblical book of Daniel, mainly dreams in Daniel, and I had a dream that I had a tour of the Trump White House. And everywhere he went, a wall kept falling on his head. And I began to ask myself during the dream, how is this wall falling? I look at us now, and I see it's not going to fall, it's going to be pushed on his head. As a Christian, I believe in a Messiah that was killed for his political beliefs. And I, to quote the great James Cone, the black liberation theologian, he said, Christians, the cross is not the end. It is the beginning of the campaign for freedom and liberation for all. As a Christian, I believe that we fight for all, regardless of who you are, what you look like, what you believe. Senator Booker, Senator Alexander, to quote the... Corker. <laughs> Potentially Booker as well. But Corker and Alexander, to quote Dr. Martin Luther King, an unapologetic Baptist Christian, the hottest place in hell is for those who remain neutral in times of great moral conflict. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. One, one thing you can do, other than coming out here, other than making noise, other than refusing to give in to hate and fear, is you can pull out your cell phone right this second if you want to, take off your gloves, and it'll, if you text the word DAILY to 228-466, I'll say it again, I'll say it again in a minute, but the point of doing all this is because It'll give you a daily action you can do, and it'll put you in touch directly with Senator Corker, or whatever you want to call him, and with Senator Alexander. Text DAILY to 228-466. What matters is that they know that the people of Nashville are holding them accountable, and we demand that they hold this administration accountable. Okay, we have one more speaker. I want to say there's more elected officials here. I see lots of them from the state legislature. 
And I appreciate every elected official who came out today, including the mayor. The next speaker is Mariana Lopez. And I think she will speak some Spanish. Hola. Buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Mariana Lopez. Hola. Good afternoon. My name is Mariana Lopez. Yo soy miembro del Comité de Dignidad Obrera. I'm a member of the Steering Committee of Workers' Dignity. Peleamos por un sueldo justo. And we fight for fair wages. Y la and dignity for workers. Como inmigrante, toda esta ola de odio que se ha declarado en contra de nosotros, estamos muy preocupados. As an immigrant, when we see the hate that is directed against us, it makes us worry. América es grandiosa, tanto así que los primeros colonizadores vinieron y mataron por tal de quedarse aquí. And we remember when the first conquistadors came and killed so many people to take this land. Nosotros venimos a trabajar. Venimos en busca de una mejor vida. We came here to work and to search for a better life. No solamente encontramos una mejor calidad de vida, sino aprendemos cómo vivir una cultura diferente. And we have to seek not only a betterment of our own lives, but we also have learned how to adapt to a different kind of culture here. And we've learned here how to speak up, how to defend our rights. We don't come here to take anybody's job. We come here and we do work that many people don't want to do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming today. One last announcement. If you want to get involved with uh, defending people's rights, defending immigrants and refugees' rights, text 615-797. 8874 615-797-8874 Pull out your phones in case you didn't know that part. You have to take out your phone and then text 615-797-8874 are 615-797-8874 all right, now let's get those signs up and let's get those cars honking! Who will resist? Woo! Thank you, Nashville! This does not stop here! This does not... <laughs> this does not stop here! You keep going! You text those family members who are still unsure about their decision about voting for Trump. You talk to people. You keep resisting. You go to more protests. You call your legislators. This means nothing if you don't call your congressmen. This means nothing if you don't keep it moving. This is not a one-day fight. This is not a week after inauguration fight. This is a four-year fight. And we will not make it if we do not have all of these faces here today. Thank you so much for coming.
think it would be better to watch it. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جيك بركاتا سوش كيا كابيو تغنتا ونبارا حتاك على يتلايو محبر سوش نبارو يا عبيتو يا عقريتو مريوش يا ترامب يا مسلم بان يا درقون نا امigrant نا امتو ميالوتن سوش نسي كاو موين نباروش انجري پروغرامو بزيد تناكا كا للا پروغرامو چالو هني لوت اصلو هنو مالتينا مشاء الله شهر عدرقو انجد هينو يا اللو نگر عبيت لارقا شبيه نا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته कमिटायु नगरोच माकल न्या अंदायनत सोचने कतलायु आकाय में तन्न मन्नम कजी क्वामी सोयल्लम रासु ईसा अलैहि सलाम बन्ना स्वातरार या जैसे समीलुतनो सुम कजी समय तो नो अंजे इमिग्रेंट वहीं दमोजी नुआरे अलने बरम बालम लाई इमिलु में फक्रो चुल्लो आलो बतलायु बरकता में फक्रो चालो जो बता में आमर ने बरा बतलाई ये हाजरी तो वाना मेरी मेयर वाम अलग नो गवर्नर वाम नो राबरासु सु बता अंतर लग ना करना ना स्वागत गोने डम तो ना में गजम रिफ्यूजियों चुए डम मुखाइला वो तय में तो मेन और इन डम चलो ये अर्गा गता चुबत प्रोग्राम ना बरना ना गये मिकतल प्रोग्राम आलें इंशाल्लाह कल निज़ान मस्सा सलाम अलैकुम